All right, we're going to get started then. I um, want to welcome you to the 2021 um, jury show. And um, we appreciate our members who received awards being here. Unfortunately, as you know, we couldn't have the entire league come. We also couldn't have our nice refreshments that we normally have during the reception. But let's think back for just a minute. In 2020, February 2020, Crooked Creek Art League held our last meeting. Um, that was 12 months ago. Almost on this date, March 2020, Barbara Tusink and Kay and Brian Fox and I stood right back there next to that wall and recorded the video for um, the 2020 awards ceremony because we knew at that point that we were not going to be able to have an in-person meeting. We left about one o'clock that afternoon the park closed completely it, later that afternoon. It was closed for several months after that. Uh, we've had no meetings, had no meetings in April or May. When we started again in September, we all had to learn how to use Zoom. What was that anyway? That was something school kids used. Uh, and by the way, it's nice to see all of you instead of in a little block to see the full view of everybody now. Um, we learned, we coped, and the league has been able to continue thanks to its members, you all, for your continued to support for uh, our fellow officers, our numerous committee coordinators, and tonight, you're honored. This is our first in-person meeting in over a year. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate everyone understanding why could only have a limited number because the park does restrict the uh, number of attendance according to the room capacity. Uh, this year, our show had a total of 103 works of art across three categories and a total of 46 artists participating for awards totaling $3,525. Uh, it takes many hours to get, make this show happen. It takes many volunteers, volunteering, donating their time and energy in addition to the many hours of artists creating the artwork. A number of folks have gone above and beyond, which is why we annually vote for a member of the year. Nominations are due before the April meeting at which we will vote, and you can submit your nominations online. Jury show chair, Case Stallings, has done a fantastic job bringing all the details for the jury show together. We also thank the many league volunteers for their help in registration and take in. Um, not here tonight are our sponsors uh, that were invited, uh, but we do want to recognize uh, sponsors and some other people who are important to the league. Uh, Representative Chip Huggins, um, represent from uh, Lexington County District 85 for his continued support. Um, Chapin Mayor David Knight and Nicole Burroughs, Director of Public Affairs for their support of our league. The Arts and Crooked Creek Art League have a great home in Chapin and we're proud to be its partner in growing the arts throughout our community. Um, I will, we do have one sponsor here and they will be recognized. We want to acknowledge and thank our generous business sponsors. Um, when you have need for any of the services of, you know, when you look through your program, if you ever have need of any of those services, please use our sponsors. They, they're gracious in supporting us. Uh, our premium sponsors, Braddock Janney Group, um, Irmo Insurance, Hermetta Fine Arts, Weathers Contracting, TD Thompson Art, Tom and Sharon Thompson, SNS Destination Truckies, our platinum donors, Harold Martin and Peace, uh, PA, Sonia and David Dimmler, Chapin Historical Society, and we have representatives here from, from that. Would you like to stand? We thank you. Thank you. City Art, Dick Blick Art Materials, Lake Murray Tire, Classy Cruet, A through Z Photo Art Studio, Dutch Fork Insurance Group, Mosley Jewelers, The Mobile Attic, and that's a welcome case. He's not here, but was invited. Royston's Chapin Automotive, 
BM Fox Nature Photography, Brian and Kay Fox, and they are out right now hanging ribbons. Turtle Rock Studio, Karen Larrabee, over here, thank you. Uh, Al Leach Fine Art, Sorensen Fine Art, um, Roberta Bobby Sorensen and Bobby Sick and can't be here tonight, and O2 Spa. Gold donors, material, the gallery, material things. Our silver donors, Antiques Forever, Dwayne Johnson, Blue Lavender Spa, and Medical Aesthetics. And bronze donors, Southern Grace Hair and Nail. Uh, we did have other members, and we, I won't re read up all the names of all of our other members, um, member sponsors, but we thank each of you. Uh, we thank all the members that made this show possible. First and foremost, I want to give a huge thank you to our jury show chair, Kay Stallings, Sandra Wilkie, over here, Art Registration, Alex DeFrancesco, Grant Coordinator, back here, Brian Fox, Photography, and he's out hanging ribbons, and Barbara Cusink, our program, um, and others who helped in many other ways, great, large, and small. Uh, while we're on this subject of programs, the numbers in the program don't correspond to your numbers hanging on the wall, but that in no way affected members' choice, people's choice, or the jurors' selections of, of the paintings. Um, all of that was done online, and the numbers online correspond to uh, what's on your painting out and your work of arts outside. I uh, want to remind everyone that you should um, leave your art in place until March 27th. Um, at that point, that's a Saturday, we'll have takedown from 11 to 2. Uh, the winning pieces, all of yours that are in here now, your winning pieces will be moved to the tap gallery on the 27th, but any other pieces that you have will be picked up on the 27th. Uh, please don't take them out early. Um, and now I will introduce Kay Stallings, the jury show coordinator, and let's get on with the show. Okay, there's a first time for everything. And this is my first time. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we're gathered here tonight to applaud all the entries and winners of the 2021 jury show. And I just, I for one, just feel very, very fortunate that I can see your faces, at least part of your faces. And maybe by next year, we'll be back to normal. It's going to just all pray for that. So uh, anyway, the art produced by the members of the league just continues to get better and better every year. And this year's no exception, even with what we uh, had to go through for 2020. And what a strange year that was. So the, the task of selecting the winners in any of the four categories, categories are difficult as you are all winners. Our jurors this year are all amazing artists themselves, and um, we want to thank each of them so much for agreeing to help us out this year. I think we're making... Sorry. Um, our lead juror this year was Ryan Fox, and since he's unable to be with us this evening, however, he's kind enough to be with us tonight on Zoom. Is Ryan with us on Zoom? Is he here? Ryan on Zoom? Well, scratch that. I guess he, he couldn't be here. Let tonight. me double check real quick. But... No. Okay. Ryan is a signature member of the American Watercolor Society, as well as six state and regional societies, Northeast Georgia, Illinois, Pennsylvania, Missouri, and North Carolina. News, GWS, IWS, PWS, MOWS, WNSNC. <laughs> and I'm sure every, each and every one of you know what those, those letters stand for. <laughs> Ryan has won awards in the American Watercolor Society, the AWS, um, Adirondacks National Exhib Exhibition of Water, American Watercolors. Missouri Watercolor Society, Georgia Watercolor Society, and Watercolor Society of North Carolina jury shows. His work has been featured in Watercolor Artist Magazine, Art of Watercolor, 
and Splash, 15, 16, 19, and 20 hardcover books. His instructional DVDs are marketed by Creative Catalyst Productions. So I told you, he's, he's very, very good. Uh, I have some comments from him. Judging art is an impossible task. When I select the awards for an art show, I look for the paintings that feature great composition, interesting materials, innovative color schemes, and a mastery of the medium. But there's more than technical skills involved. A true award winner displays the wow factor. Wow, how did the artist achieve this effect? What a unique perspective angle. I wish I had thought of this. Wow. In a show as diverse as this exhibition, there were many amazing pieces of art. I have se selected for award the paintings that in my opinion, best made me stop and say, wow. Our photography juror was Skip Willits and Skip is from the Columbia uh, area. Whoops. <laughs> he lives in Casey, but he couldn't be here tonight either. His wife had knee surgery. So, uh, and I have a few things to say about Skip. Skip is a professional photographer in South Carolina, specializing in maritime, wildlife, urban, and lighthouse photography. He has been published in many national books and magazines and is the publisher and co-publisher of numerous posters. He has led many tours for the Smithsonian Institution and produced multimedia slideshows for them and others. Skip was an exhibitor at the prestigious Easton Waterfowl Festival in Maryland for 21 years and has shown at as many as 15 to 20 art shows or festivals per year as well. His emphasis has always to create photographic art which collectors would want to hang, resell, or publish. It all starts with a good image and evolves from there. So I guess we can get on to the reason we're all here. And I'm going to award, uh, make the awards uh, from the bottom up, le leading to best in show. So, um, okay, thanks. So we'll start with the photography awards. Uh, the Merit Award for Photography goes to Robert Carlson for Experienced Chopper. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. I, I'm always supposed to give it to you here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> and the Patron Award. It goes for the Thirsty Roadrunner, Erdal Kaba. Erdal is online. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just keep your check, okay? <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Erdal. Okay, third place photography, Bell Blue by Brian Fox. And I might as well give him the, the next prize, second prize for photography. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all in the same envelope. And third place is Kimberly Case. First place, First place I mean, is Kimberly Case uh, for the laborers. Oh, yes, Kimberly Case. Okay. Um, and we had some juror comments on Kimberly's piece. Uh, this is one of those images that made fine by years. Of, Kimberly, are you listening? Because this is good. This is one of those images made fine by years of professional experience with what works and what does not as well as the ability to plan, construct the image and discard those 
which do not work. The ability to achieve all four categories of excellence is part of the job and not second nature. So thank you. Okay, let's move on to 2D artwork uh, in the amateur category. Joe Counts Memorial Award goes to Riddy Pointer for Baxter and Alice. That's great, everybody loves it. <laughs> okay, and the Emerit Award, did we take, did we, 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 did we get a chance to take a picture? Okay, <laughs> real fast, okay. Uh, <laughs> the Merit Awards, uh, Springtime by Ruby Deloach. And that is a, Buy more art for next <laughs> Okay, get it, Brian? Okay, good. Just get them anyway. That's good. And uh, the Merit Award, Amateur One for um, two Merit Award. Oh, okay. Carol Blackwood, best seat in the house. I love that. Okay. The Patron Award, Gone But Not Forgotten by Diana Smith. <laughs> and Weathers Contracting Award, Tickled Pink by Brenda Clark. I loved it, congratulations. <laughs> Okay, third place amateur, Window to the Tuscan Countryside by Sandra Wilkie. <laughs> okay, second place, Mama Redbird by Willie Clark. Now we have jurors' comments on this one, Willie. So pay attention. You got it? A uh, beautiful painting with expressive brush marks. The red bird is standing in front of loosely suggested background foliage with a strong light source creating maximum contrast. An example of how less is more, you do not need a ton of detail, and this artist succeeded in creating a simple and beautiful painting. And first place, uh, amateur Dreaming by Mary Collette. <laughs> and you sat all the way to that. <laughs> it was beautiful. Thank you. And I have some words about it too. Let me read these. I enjoy art that makes me wonder. This painting leaves a lot of interpretation. Is the person about to be run over by a plane? <laughs> That's okay. What is the message here? Whatever is happening, this painting is riveting in its use of color and bold composition. Compositionally, the diagonal shape of the man's leg is repeated in colorful background marks. A painting that tells a story, an open and unwritten book. It's bold and fun. Okay, and now the biggies for the masters. We have merit awards uh, for Anna K. Singley, Amaryllis. So very glad you could be here tonight in more ways than one, apparently. <laughs> and our second merit award, uh, JJ Casey for the Old Morris Lighthouse. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. The Patron Award, Blue Moon, goes to Renee Eshelman. It was beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. 
and this might choke me up a little bit, but Anne Sweeney Memorial, uh, the awards masters for Karen Lampy. And was a really big part of everybody. And I've only lived here three years, but she was a big part to me too. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Palmetto Fine Arts Award goes to Dale Bishop for Daniel E. Green. <laughs> amazing. Oh, oh, he was. He was amazing. Okay. Uh, the Weathers Contracting Award goes to Tommy Thompson for Urban Renewal Number Six. Uh, the master's third place goes to Bobby Sorensen for Laundry Day, and she, she's online. Okay, Bobby, congratulations. And the master's second place to Julie Larkin for Restful, restful Contemplation. Okay, no, I think I have a little note here, Julie. An abstract piece which lay with layers of beautiful colors, squiggle marks that head towards what appears to be a door. This painting retained my attention as I analyzed the graphic marks and interplay of color. There's a depth in the layers of color, even there, even though there is no physical setting. setting. Okay, and first place masters goes to my friend Barbara, who has helped me out. I can't tell you how much you helped me out this year. Because I, I was flying blind here, y'all. But congratulations. Pretty in pink, sorry. Right. <laughs> okay, we have we've got some comments on this one too. Composition makes or breaks the painting. The bright yellow pistol near the center could have easily become a bullseye. However, the expert choice to partially overlap the flower pistol creates a movement in the piece and the shadow strength and movement. The asymmetrical layout of the flower and strong lighting makes this a wow piece. Okay, so uh, before we talk about our student jurors, which Kay Fox is gonna do, for me. Um, go ahead and award the people's, people's choice is next. Yeah. The people's choice uh, goes to Britty for Baxter and Alice. Aww. Yeah. And everybody apparently loved Baxter and Alice. So. And really cute. Yeah. <laughs> and the member's choice award. That's the one that we all voted on is for Barbara, Misty Morrow. Oh, I love that. Okay. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so Kay, you ready? All right, first I'd like to talk a little bit about what our associate juror program is. Um, Crooked Creek Art League is proud to support future artists through its associate juror, juror program. A portion of the CCL earnings each year benefits two students from our local institutions of higher education. Um, scholarships are provided to deserving students for the own hand paid internship to serve as an associate juror for our, for our annual show. They are charged with selecting a piece for award and selecting and presenting to the league their selection and justification for their selection. They are also granted an honorary membership of the Crooked Creek Art League for one year. Y'all please take advantage of that. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate the support of the two schools selecting um, one of their outstanding students to participate in our juring um, experience. We, uh, we have prepared recommendations to be included in their resumes as they are um, being in the process of job search after graduation. 
Job well done, Janae and Patrick. Well, we really appreciate it. We would also like to thank um, the professors at the different schools that have worked with us. Uh, Gina Moore from Benedict and Rebecca Boyd and Olga Yukna of USC helped us secure our judges. So thank you to them for being so easy to work with. Um, I hope you've taken a moment to look at some of their work. Um, you'll see some of Patrick's in a little bit. Uh, Janae has a little setup outside and she brought her iPad and she has its rotating crew out there too, as well as a, a piece of work. So please take time to stop and look and see their good work. Young artists eager to make their mark in the art community, wherever opportunity leads them. Thank you, Patrick and Janae. I'm going to ask Patrick to come up first, and I'm going to read a little bit about him. Patrick, um, he moved to South Carolina three years ago to pursue an MFA, a Master's in Fine Arts at University of South Carolina. In 2010, he enrolled in the Professional Crafts Program at, Haygood Community, at Haywood Community College. In 2015, he earned his BFA, Bachelor in Fine Arts, from East Tennessee State University. After finishing graduate school, Patrick went to the University of uh, Florida for a post-baccalaureate program. Over the years, he has focused primarily on creating a 3D art. Um, however, he's currently focusing on painting. Um, and the problem with that is he has no small work. He has huge work. <laughs> and we had no place to show huge work. <laughs> He is building his own frames to make the uh, painting sculpt sculptural. With this work, he is addressing mental illness and stigmas that lie within. Patrick, would you please come forward and make your award? What you heard? Uh, so the USC Jurors Award goes to Julie Larkin for Pathways to Go. Thank you. Um, I don't think I can read directly from it, but um, whenever I was looking at it, I. Wait, what? Oh, hi. I like the color composition, the angular lines. <coughs> Bottom, but I like the way the lines and color drew my attention. Okay, and Patrick. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Janae Minor is a junior studio art major studying at Benedict College, located in Columbia, South Carolina. She is a student hailing from Atlanta, Georgia. Miss Minor has a passion for fine art since her youth and has that eye for color and concept. She's a member of Alpha Rho Theta Fraternity of the Creative and Performing Arts and is a 2019-20 President's Trophy recipient for Benedict College. As her studies continue at Benedict, she plans to continue her career path and further her education in studio art to receive her master's in fine art to become an art director. And I will say, every time I talk to her, I feel like, Give me that energy because she is just the sweetest and she is loaded with energy. So, Janae, would you please come forward? Janae Minor. Um, see, I would like to announce Tommy Thompson as the award for my school, Benedict College. Mr. Tommy Thompson. <laughs> So, so the reason I chose this award was because the complementing colors, red and green, that really drew my eye, and I was very drawn to the detail within the composition. It also made me think the concept was about hope, because within all the destruction within the piece, the greenery and the vine that's growing out, it made, reminds me of like 
hope there's life that's still coming through. Thank you. Where's the free parking? The parking meter, see, right? Aha. It's leaning over. It's not working. Today, thank you. And thank you. Welcome. Love that energy. Okay. And I think I turn it over to Kay again. Thank you. Okay, don't take those all away. <laughs> okay, invitation postcard. Strawberry Splash by Erdal Kaba. And he's online. Thank you. That was fun doing that. Beautiful. SNS Destination Truckies Award. Lily Pad Dance by Maureen Carter. Thank you. Okay, and Irmo Insurance Award goes to Lady of the Lake, Dale Bishop. Okay, and City Art Award. Old Morris Lighthouse, JJ Casey. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was it good? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. And the Braddock Group Legacy Award, Angel by James DeFrancesco. <laughs> And in case everybody doesn't know, James was the only 3D art that we we had this year. So if anybody knows any 3D artists, we might need to bring them into the group next year. So we I don't know if they can do that again. That's beautiful. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Make your mom proud. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay. Uh Wait a minute. Where was that? Yeah, here we go. Best in show. Do I have that? <laughs> Sign. Strong vertical shapes counterbalanced by horizontal and diagonal elements moves your eye around the centrally placed figures. The women appear to be looking off the canvas, creating a sense of tension or uncertainty. A beautiful painting that holds your attention for a long time, especially this year, because we're all looking off into the distance this year. <laughs> that was Barbara, can you hear me? Yes. Barbara, it's Ryan Fox. Oh, it's Ryan. Oh, hey, Ryan, welcome. I I'm so sorry. I had written down seven o'clock on my Google Calendar, so I got here twenty minutes early, and then I saw that it, it started uh, at six o'clock. I'm so I apologize. It's all right. Let me let me uh, put you on spotlight. Okay. To go, you want to say the words to the crowd? You're on camera. Yeah. Well, first again, sorry that I'm late. Uh, as you said, I had the hour long. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this show was uh, difficult to you know to judge. Uh, any art uh, art shouldn't be judged first off. I don't think. But um, you know, th this show was difficult because with amateur and professional uh, photography, we had a really wide range of stuff. And you know, when I'm I'm looking at art, I always try to, you know, I know it can be very subjective because you can be in a museum and you know, one person staring at a piece and they think it's absolutely amazing, and I'll walk up to it and I'm like, what what is that? That's junk, and I'll walk away, or vice versa. But it's um. You know, so when I judge an art show, what I try to do is I, I, I try to, of course, look for, you know, composition, uh, technical skills with, with whatever medium they're using, whether that's 2D or three-dimensional. Uh, you know, I want to know if the artist has an understanding of what they're doing. It, it doesn't matter if it's a slow painting, it's a fast painting, a fast 3D or 2D work of art. I just want to, I, it's just, I'm looking for something that impresses me and just makes me say, what, well, how the heck did they do this? Or how did they think of this? Or why didn't I think of this first? Uh, and, you know, I, I, of course I do enjoy watercolors, but, um, you know, there are some abstract pieces in this that I thought were really, really well done. Um, 
And, you know, judging from slides, of course, is, is really difficult too. There were some, uh, you know, some artists I could tell had issues with taking pictures of their artwork. And I try to put that aside because I just try to look at the artwork. There was one person here, I know the, the image was extremely blurry. Uh, some judges might just throw that out right away, but I, I, I know she got a prize in this show because I looked at it and said, well, they don't know how to take a picture of the artwork, but I'm not gonna hold that against them. I'm gonna look at the actual artwork and it, does the art speak to me? And it did. So I kind of let, kind of let that go. Um, but yeah, it, it's just, it's hard to judge, you know? And, and you know, I, I could maybe go through things two days later and, you know, pick some different awards for different people. So it just, you know, it just kind of depends, but usually it's just the pieces that I see that gr just grab me. And I say, wow, how did they do that? Or, you know, I, you know, what an amazing composition or just those are the craziest colors, but they work. So that's what I look for when I, when I judge art. So I, I know, I, I, you know, I hope that kind of gives you a rundown. Um, and, you know, if, if you didn't win an award in the show, don't, don't feel bad about it, you know, because it's, um, I'm, I'm one person, one person's opinion. Um, if you feel strong about your work, take a look at it and say to yourself, well, you know, is there something, you know, that I could change that I can make it better? Uh, I get rejected from shows and that's what I do when I get rejected is I look at them and say, well, is there something that would make this piece better? And sometimes there is. Sometimes I'm just like, well, I don't agree with the judge and I'm going to enter in a different show. And then sometimes it'll get in and win awards. So it's just, you never know, but you know, it, it's, it, it's difficult looking at things online. I really had to look at these for a long time and, you know, narrow them down. Um, you know, so it was tough, but like Skip and I, we were, we did a photography and I picked out like the seven you know, photographs I thought were award winners and he picked out the seven and five of the seven were the same thing. Those were the same images. So we had picked a lot of the kind of the same ones, um, you know, so that kind of was, you know, kind of together between the two of us. It wasn't, it wasn't completely different pictures. Those five of the seven were the same. So I don't know, I hope this kind of gives you a little insight of how, you know, that, that's how I do it. Um, I'm sure some judges are very different. And, um, um, just awarded the best in show, Ryan. If you want to say anything particular to that piece or to that artist, she's right here next to the next to the stand. Yeah, that that is a painting that uh, that I want to steal. Uh, and and that's, <laughs> usually, that's usually what it comes down to with uh, with uh, you know the first place. Like you know, do I want that in my house? I would. I like to look at that painting, you know, for the rest of my life. Uh, and, and that that's one of those paintings where. Yes, I, I would. You know, I just think it is very, very well done. Uh, the composition, just the movement throughout the piece, the little things like taking, if she had taken out those little, little ropes that go almost, um, they're, they're kind of horizontal in, in the painting, I think the whole thing would have fallen apart. And it's just those little choices that, that she made in, in the painting, which make it such an interesting, fun composition that continually moves your eye throughout the piece. There's no bullseye. Um, those people in the center could have been a bullseye, but uh, but they weren't. I, I, I just think it really works. And yeah, if I could if I could run, you can see the crutches in the background. I just got off of those recently. I could if I could steal that piece, I would try to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <Ian. laughs> Don't leave your house. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. You're welcome. You've been doing. <laughs> Time to go, Ryan. <laughs> you can't hear me. Can't yeah. hear. Oh, okay. I, I could. I can hear you for a while. Here, so you got a few years to go. I, I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm getting better. I'm off those now. So, um, but I'm You're keeping them because I get hurt every two years. All right. So, so I'm sorry. So, what did I miss? You just awarded first place. Um, you did all the awards already. Sorry. Okay, we, we did them all. Okay, okay. We appreciate you for, for spinning in here uh, for a few minutes. If you want to say anything to any of the other artists. Got, if you want to say anything to anybody else, that's fine. Or, or uh, we just want to say thank you again for, uh, for doing the amazing job that you did, thank especially you. the way you had to do it. And uh, the, yeah, if you want to say anything else to anybody else, if you can remember anything or whatever. Yeah, you know, the, the, the amateur division was, was difficult too because there's some really good pieces. Um, 
And um, JJ was she the am was she in the amateur? I saw that was was that the I think she. Yeah. Was, um, yeah, I don't have the, the sheet in front of me right now, but yeah, it's you know it's it, it as I said, it's hard when it's amateur and professional. Uh, there are definitely some pieces in the amateur that could have gone into the professional though, which is masters. Uh, Sorry. The masters, I'm sorry. Yeah. And, and you know, there were, uh, I know, so there are the professional and there's the masters categories and there's like just the overall, uh, th there was an amateur piece that I, get, I put into the overall because I thought it was done very well. It's, uh, and you know, I, I do, I, I do like architectural paintings that that's what I paint. That's my subject matter, but I am a sucker. Uh, you shouldn't tell anybody this, but I'm a sucker for well done abstract paintings. I, abstracts, I, I just don't understand how people create them, how they do them. Uh, so, but I have an appreciation of that because I just like, I just don't know where to start. Like if, it, if I paint an abstract, it's because I spilled everything all over my painting or I threw everything and got <laughs> out about it. I, I couldn't do it to save my life. So I definitely do have an appreciation for that. Um, yeah, the, the, the 2D piece I thought, which I assume is big. I can't, I couldn't really tell from the photograph but, um, or I'm sorry, not the 2D, but the, um, the, the wings, with like the breastplate and the wings. Um, I, yeah, thought, they, I thought that was cool. I thought that was just really fun. I, I think it's big, isn't it? it uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's about 20 pounds and it's probably- You can't see you. Oh, yeah. we can't? I probably can see you. Oh, we can't see you. No, I can see you. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah but Virtually the size of a, maybe a, a normal sized person's chest. That's kind of what I it, I tried to make it as real. Yeah. What? That, that, that's what I figured it was. I thought it was pretty big, but it looked beautifully done. Um, you know, I thought oh, that was, so yeah, so I had, I had to give an award for something. Um, <laughs> took a lot of hammering and style. I bet. Yeah. 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 I, I can see it. That looks good. Yeah. yeah. About, about the size there of this. Go. And, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, a lot of hair, a lot of heat. Oh, I bet. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Well, congratulations. Um, Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, All right. So are we good? So. Thank you again, Ryan. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so sorry I was late. It's uh. That's okay. We're all. It's, I'm going to blame it on daylight savings, but I just put the wrong time in. <laughs> but it's well, Monday. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, this has definitely been an amazing experience for me this year. Well, thanks. But I've made a lot of friends, and that's what I wanted to do when I said yes last year to this lady right here and that lady right there that you can't say no to <laughs> but it had and I and I'm just really really whoa, it's good so I just want to thank each and every one of you for um for helping out in all the ways that you did that uh this 2020 has been definitely a weird year for all of us so we're stepping into the future right now apparently a lot of us have already had the shots so we're we're doing good oh i did want to say thank you to the management and the staff here at the park they are fantastic it's a, we have such a great place to be and gather and they're always available to move furniture and you know uh uh, give us ladders and just be there for helping us to clean up and um, they're great. So if you ever see any of them around, just thank them because we're really lucky to have them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> want to thank everybody for coming. Um, what we can do is Amateurs, if you will go over here, amateur winners. Where do you, where do you want to have them? Where, where would you like to have the amateur winners? Like over here? <laughs> well, the sign is only if two people hold it, I think. <laughs> well, we could do that. Okay.
Uh, but let's have amateur winners over here and the, uh, those that were in the master's category stay in your seats until the amateurs get their photo taken. And then we will have a photo of the open to all and the photography. And then we will have a photograph of the open to all group. Okay, so that everybody gets their picture taken. We thank you for coming. Still hunting, so open to yeah. Parks open till eight, so go look at it. Thank you for coming again. Thank you from Zoom. Look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, thank you everybody for the show. It was, um, it was hard to judge. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for making it difficult. So basically my work right now is discussing like issues with mental illnesses. Um, I photograph roughly 25 people and have conversations with them about their own like, experience with it. And from that conversation, I've taken gestures, colors, light qualities, and implemented it into paintings. Um, so yeah, I'm building my canvases. I alter them from just being a regular rectangular square and they're coming off the wall and I've stretched the front and the back sides of them so the painting actually wraps around the canvas itself.